Hi there, Consuelo, I'm Consuelo, Viola's daughter, and uh, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's okay after the storm. Um, we fared off pretty well considering what other people had to go through, and uh, I just want to hope that everyone's faring off better um, now that a couple of days have passed, and I know it's changed some people's lives. Uh, we were lucky. We just had like, you know, sporadic flooding here and there, but not in my house. My house, and where I live, it's up in the hills. It's uh, like not really up in the hills, but it's higher than the river. Let's say. <laughs> so we're safe and sound and dry, and our cars are fine. Everything's okay. No complaints. But my prayers go out to all those who are affected in a negative way with. Uh, uh, Ida, and it was pretty widespread in New Jersey. Mm, quite a few places got hit. So, um, before I start my tag, which I was tagged on, I'd like to ask you, uh, all my subscribers and new subscribers, I would like to ask, uh, ask you to uh, hit that like button um, so that I could tell if you like my content, uh, YouTube can tell. And uh, I would be appreciative if you do. Thanks a lot. Uh, you can also subscribe if you want to be notified when I come on again. Um, when I have these little chats or have some new projects to show you. Uh, so if you subscribe, you'll get notified when, it's, when, uh, when I have something new on. So I would appreciate that too. You can also comment, or if you have a question, ask a question. Um, I try to read all my comments. I don't have that many that I can't handle it. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I could understand someone could be overwhelmed with it, but I'm not. I, I love reading what you have to say, and uh, I try to answer every one of them. So if you feel free, to, if you want to ask me a question or you want to see something, um, just let me know in the comment section down below. And the, when I put some information, I try to remember, there's a little tiny arrow, like right in the corner here. A little tiny arrow. If you hit on it, it'll open up and it'll give you like ways to contact me. Uh, I'm on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I have my own uh website or, an, uh, or web page I should say on Facebook under Wakachi and and so many other little things under there I try to put uh, if I mention someone and I usually don't get their uh, ta you know their YouTube uh, channel right I try to get their name in there right if nothing else so you can find them if I should mention anybody and so um, I was tagged by uh, Jeanette, a.k.a. Soraya from DOY Life and DOY Creations. She has two sites and a uh, wonderful lady and always uplifting. And she's on Sundays and Wednesday live. Uh, she pops up all the other days too, so you never know when she's going to be on. But she's really informative and really nice lady. And she was tagged, I believe she said she was tagged by Mama Swift uh, on, this, on this tag, which is my first one I'm ever doing, is um, your 10 important things that you take with you when you're on a go. Um, I guess uh, mostly crochet related, but it didn't say. So you're going to get a little bit of everything of what I take. Uh, I tend to take a whole lot of stuff, <laughs> but um, I'm going to narrow it down to 10. So the first thing that would go in my bag, uh, let me show you my bag. I have, I have different, sorry about my face going in the camera. I have different bags like this. Uh, every project goes in one of these type of bags. They're all different, uh, which helps me sort them out. Every, every one I make, I... Uh, try to keep all the information in there so I'm ready to go I just grab one and this one happens to have um, I'm doing a project right now for um, a summer top 
but I'm making it out of acrylic so it's not going to really be summer and uh, it's going to be like all season so I'm doing a summer top it's very it's not very big it's simple stitches it's by uh, cinnamon stitches uh, it's called her breezy summer tank top I believe and so first thing I would put in there would be this and the yarn and mandelas travel really well I pull out what I'm going to use and cut it so it doesn't all come unraveling and uh, so that's that would be first off if I'm taking this bag with me would be the project with the yarn and hopefully I have the needle I always say needle need hook I would have the crocheting hook I used to knit so I, I still say needle but I mean hook <laughs> it's a big difference if I bring needles oh goodness it keeps dropping all right let me pull this up and get the heavy stuff out of here first all right that's the crocheting item that I would be taking this week most of the time I bring granny squares or a hat so we only need like one ball of yarn and um, a hook and I can start the hat there um, from waiting for somebody like a doctor's appointment or something I can finish off a hat while I'm waiting so this most important thing of all would be a bottle of water so I would carry that with me uh, always have water no matter where I'm going even if I'm just running to the corner bottle of water is in my is in my car um, the phone carry my phone always have that with me and right now you can't go out without your phone did you ever do that go out and find out you didn't bring your phone and you're like like an arm is missing I remember when we didn't have to bring any phones but now, now I'm talking old school again so um, let me put this somewhere so I don't have to try to put it somewhere I don't have to pick it up so see all right, well, I wasn't really prepared on going on a podcast today, as you could tell. Um, so I'm going to be like rattling around. Well, I usually bring my bag because if I leave my bag, I carry a small bag anyway. If I leave my bag, there's always something in it that I need. So I just, especially during the summer, I carry a very small bag and it has God knows what else. You know, gum, lipstick, everything else is in there. Can't go anywhere without that, right? Um, then I carry, let me take these all out of this bag, because it's already making me crazy. Um, then I carry my measuring tape, for sure, because while you're working, I usually use, I told you, I use my hands. I know my hands are seven, seven and a half, so I use my hands, but I mean, once it's past seven, it starts getting difficult, <laughs> you know, so measuring tape works. And this, this tape is so old, it's not funny. Um, that's more than 15 years old. Now, I have regular, you know, pull-out ones, what do they call them, retractable. I have those, but I never find them when I need them. But this one never gets lost. I don't know if it's because it's red or what it is, but it's attached to me, and I always have this one with me. No problem finding it. Always bring a scissor. Uh, I had an incident one time, I was crocheting, and I finished, and I couldn't disconnect the yarn, and I ended up using, I think, a nail clipper. Uh, one time I used my key, you know, the edge of the key. So I just buy inexpensive little cheapy scissors, so if they get lost, you know, I don't really worry about it. I think there's like dollar store scissors. So I, I have like one in every bag, and uh, you know, that's how I, I keep them in the bag. So I have them with me at all times. And this is really important. <laughs> it's a nail file. And nothing makes me crazy. I don't have the world's strongest nails. I have very soft nails. They grow longer, but they're very soft. They peel, they chip, they crack, and they snag my yarn. And it makes me crazy. I'll just bite into it and rip it off, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> I think animals do that, right, when they get stuck into a, a uh, trap or something, well, that's me, 
because if my nail breaks, I'm ripping it off. Uh, so I carry one of these, again, inexpensive. As you can see, it covers all, um, all types of damage. It'll either take my nail down to the nubs or it'll just do a little smoothing so I don't snag on the yarn because I hate snagging. And it looks like when you have something wrong with your nail, it always catches the yarn. So I, I have to have this with me. And um, I don't know if I passed, the, I have a list there. I don't think I passed the eight yet. Always have my headset or earphones. What do we call those? I don't have earbuds, so these are just regular air, earphones for my phone. Um, I listen to audio books or I might want to listen to music or just do Facebook or YouTube while I'm waiting in the car or not actually in the car, but um, like in the doctor's office, you know, when you drive somebody and wait for them. Uh, so I entertain myself between crocheting and that. Then I always carry these little, um, inexpensive little, again, inexpensive. Uh, I have several. Every bag has one of these. I think I got them at the dollar store. Yeah, probably the dollar store. And I always carry extra hooks. I have a habit of losing my hooks. Um, carry the regulars, you know, the H, the K, the J, uh, what's the other one, the G. So I have several of those and they, they go in little bags like this. And I like the clear ones because then I know what's in the bag without opening it. Uh, and I have a really bad habit. I don't close anything. I hate to close them, I don't know. So if this way, if it's in the clear bag, I don't have to open it and rumble around in it. It's already closed. So that's what I'll carry in, in all my bags. I have like every, I have what, about five bags right now. One, um, in my corner there where I sit, I have about five bags and I have one of these in every bag and it has uh, my stitch markers. That's another thing you have to take with you. I know that's on the list. You know, you have to carry your stitch markers. I make my own uh, since I make jewelry and I got jewelry findings. And uh, like if I have odd and end beads or gems that I really like, they make me happy. I, can't, I make them and in my bags. Every bag has five or six of them floating around in the bottom. It's not like the end of the world, you know, if I should lose one because I make them. So, uh, like I said, I do tend to lose things. So, this is like my latest ones that I make. Um, I'm into birdies because, you know, I have a bird. Uh, I had two, but I lost one just a couple of weeks ago, so I only have one left. Uh, I'm going to bring him on one day. But he's so on me. He's so bad. He, he knows when I'm filming him. He does the weirdest things. So one day when he's acting right, I'll put him on. <laughs> he's really a sweetheart, but he's got a personality you wouldn't believe. He's a cockatoo. And he's kind of bad. But, uh, He's like one of my kids. He's 21 years old, so he's, he's family. So I carry these around. Um, so I have my stitch markers, my plastic bags with my extra hooks in there. Even though I have the hook that I'm using, sometimes you want to change it off or whatever. I'm covered. And I carry darning needles, you know, the needles to do the ends because if you finish it, um, I like to finish the ends right away, or else, you know, you saw a couple of my projects. A year later, I still find the end hanging. So it's better to do it right away. It's, it's just, it's just better. And so I think I got 10. Oh, I forgot my hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer and my mask. But my mask stay in the car. I got like seven or eight hanging off of the, the gear shift. Um, you know, different colors, different kinds for all occasions. And you can't go anywhere without your hand sanitizers. 
better safe than sorry. So I carry these around. I have several of these and they're, all, they're in all the bags. And I think I got all my, my things there. I think I got them all. Yeah, because this bag has also has stitch markers. Um, like I said, I make them so there's tons of them in there. Um, there's always a pen. Uh, sometimes I write notes down if I'm making a change or I'm designing something. Um, I'll make little notes down on uh, some paper and throw it in the bag. And that's pretty much all the ones I, um, it's pretty much all the things I do carry. Uh, snacks, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I try not to carry too much stuff. I mean, I, I don't live in the country or anything, so everything's right here on the corner, you know, food, <laughs> restaurants, everything's right here. Not a big deal. So uh, that's pretty much what I carry in the bag. Um, yeah, I think I covered everything I have. Uh, I do take some medication with me. I have asthma, so I always have my spray that goes everywhere with me. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And um, I heard I have to tag somebody. So I don't know if these people were tagged before. I've only seen uh, DOY's uh, uh, podcast. So I'm going to call some names. I heard she did Tina, so I'm not calling Tina. I'm going to call, uh, tag uh, Veronica, a Steal the Show and Chef. Crochet and Chef, I'm sorry. Steal the, steals the Show, Crochet and Chef. Dana at Creatively Created Crochet. Uh, Karen, a Yarn Addict. Ola Joe. The Crocheting Sailor, Nancy, Nancy Hooked on Crochet, uh, Brenda at the Newbie Crocheters, and I think I have one more here. Who else did I forget? I forgot somebody. Oh, Seda from Seda's Place. I would love to know what she carries. She's always traveling. She must have everything in her bag. <laughs> she travels from Alaska. California <laughs> so I know she has some interesting things in her her little project bags and uh, so that's that's the ones I'm tagging for now if, if they haven't been tagged already um, I don't see anybody else's name oh I have so many people I would have tagged but I don't want to hog all of them um, they probably don't even watch my podcast but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was thinking of uh, Katrina. I think it's called she uh, Katrina crochets. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, I think I have I've done more than that. So if you haven't been tagged by anybody else, then you've been tagged by me, and I can't wait to see what you carry in your your bags when you're on the go. And uh, <laughs> uh, I hope you remember to hit that like button or dislike if you dislike, you dislike. And that's okay too. Um, I'd like to see them because uh, they do let me know if this is the content or you don't like this content that I have. I am a crochet chat podcaster. Uh, you won't see me dancing or singing <laughs> and you're happy for it believe me <laughs> um, so but I will show you any crocheting creations or someone else comes along with uh, I'll be on there and one day I'll bring Woody on too Woody's my bird I'll bring him on uh, when he's acting right <laughs> and uh, so you be good and uh, enjoy the beauty of the day and be kind bye